welcome back on info for triple and you are watching a series on power electronics using matlab symlink this is eighth video of this series in which we will discuss about step down chopper with resistive load using matlab symlink and you are with paramjit singh jawal first of all we will discuss the circuit diagram of step down chopper with resistive load this is the circuit diagram of step down chopper which consists of an igbt switch and this igbt switch is connected with a constant voltage source at the input side and re uh, load resistance at the output side the parameters which will be used in the simulation for this circuit are here input voltage vs will be selected 220 volt load resistance will be selected as 10 ohm switch voltage drop uh, is selected as 2 volt switching frequency fs is selected as 1000 hertz and duty cycle is selected as 50 hertz and these parameters are taken from the example given at page number 305 of this reference for the validation purpose so now moving towards the practical session on matlab in this video we will continue the simulation we have created in the third video of this series so first of all open that simulation file and save this simulation file with different name so igbt switch is already here we need a constant voltage source at the input side so identify that block in the library browser and go to simscape power system specialized technology and fundamental blocks so here under electrical sources you will find a constant dc voltage source so drag this block into your simulation file and remove this controlled voltage source from here and connect this dc voltage source here so click on this block and update its value to 220 volt load resistance is already here so now we will click on it to update its values so it is 2 ohm we need to uh, add the value of 10 ohm so update it and also we will update measurements currently we are measuring branch voltage only but we want to measure branch voltage and current both so i am setting this setting and now close it by clicking on okay button now click on igbt block to update its switch voltage drop so switch voltage drop is selected by forward voltage that is vf so we want to have the voltage drop of 2 volt so update it to 2 so now close it so now our circuit is ready but we need to update the measurement section what we want to measure so first of all click on multimeter block and voltage is already selected we need to select the current also so click on this and click on this button so now we have also selected the current so now this multimeter measure the voltage across the uh, load resistance and voltage current across the load resistance we only want to measure the switch voltage and we don't want to measure the switch current because we already measuring the load current switch current and load current will be same so i am removing this igbt current terminal from here and also deleting this mark block here and now click on this bus selector block and remove this igbt current from here and now click on okay button now remove this terminal because first i want to check the voltage and second i want to check the current and at last i will measure the switch voltage we can rearrange it for simplicity
now we will select the switching signal setting so go to pulse generator block which is generating the signal and we need to update the first of our period and period will be dependent on the switching frequency as t is is equal to 1 upon f so we can write it as 1 upon 1000 as the switching frequency is 1000 so time will be 1 upon 1000 and duty cycle is 50 percent it is already selected so now close it now also delete this description as it unnecessary placed here and it is not related to this video so now our simulation is ready just save this simulation and run this simulation and also open the scope block and now click on scale x and y axis limits now you can see that we are not getting the results clearly because our switching frequency is 1000 hertz and we are taking the stop time 10 seconds so we are getting 10,000 cycles so it means we need to decrease the stop simulation time and decreasing it to 0 0.005 seconds and now again run the simulation and here you can clearly see that now we are able to visualize the cycles in the scope so here you can see that we are getting the levels here but we are not getting living above three uh, waveforms so we can also add the levels in this scope so to add the level to this scope we can add the information here first one is the gate signal second one is the load voltage and third one is the load current now save this simulation and again run this simulation so now you can clearly see that we have obtained the signal along with its labels also so first one is gate signal uh, it is initially high that is one and load voltage we can see it's by uh, making it zoom so it is around 218 because two voltage is dropped across the IGBT switch and we can see it by just zooming it here so it means when the uh, switch is on so 218 volt is seen across the load and two voltage is dropped across the IGBT switch and current to the uh, load is simply calculated by ops law i is equal to v open r so v is 218 and r is 10 so it is around 21.8 ampere okay so now again click on scale x and y axis limit so when the switch is zero there is no voltage across the load and corresponding there is no load, uh, current across the load so all the voltage is seen across the IGBT switch so which is full that is 220 volt so that means IGBT switch, switch should be capable to withstand that 220 volt when switch is off so this is sufficient for today I am thankful to Mr. Munesh Kumar Singh for showing his excitement if this video is useful to you then like and share it if you have any query or suggestions then let me know through your comments if you want to get the notification about our upcoming videos, then subscribe our channel and click on bell icon. Thank you for being with us.